On this particular video, what we're looking at is how to replace your reel strips on a typical vintage slot machine. Now, over time, these tend to wear, split, rip, or even just fade. And although people like to keep originality, it's sometimes nice to have them looking good and clean when in a home environment. So if you are going to replace these, it's always worth taking off the old ones, but keeping them. Because if ever you want to sell the machine, you might want to put them back on. Or the collector purchasing your machine in future may want to put them back on. Now this particular one is off the Pace Kitty, and we're going to replace these strips. These are the original ones from 1937. They're faded, there's a slight wear on some of the symbols. So we're going to replace them with these, which are... Um, reproduction reel strips and we're going to put those on and show you how they can be installed. Now the first thing we need to do is to remove the old reel strips. Now these reel strips are never glued in position. They're actually crimped in position by the edge of the reels. Now if you look closely you can probably see one of the little crimps there and there. And it's these that we need to prise open which should release the reel strip. To help with the removal or replacement of the reel strips, it sometimes makes it a lot easier if we keep this in a play position. And to do that, we're going to put an old rag at the back here. This stops the fan from spinning. Now by playing the machine, the reels will just spin and spin, so the brakes won't kick in, which allows us to manually freewheel the reels and allow us to very easily remove and replace them. The next thing you want to do is to put a little marker that can help you very easily line up the replacements with the originals. Now what I look for is some people mark off where the reel strip begins, which we can do. And I'll just put a little mark on the side of the rim just to mark off where it starts. Now because of how these replacements are often cut, this cut line here may be slightly higher or lower, so it's gonna knock out the symbols. So what I also do, as well as mark where the reel starts, I look for a particular symbol uh, and on this situation I'm going to use the kitty as a marker and also on here we've got one called the comet because it's nice and straight and I can put a little marker where the kitty starts. i just put a little mark just there. Now using just a small screwdriver we just need to prise up these edges being careful not to damage these. If you're working on a very old rusty rim you often find these tend to break so treat them with gentle care. Just a little pinch is what's holding them so you just need to prise it upwards like that. That's all of the crimps released. Now we can remove the reel strips. Now there's one thing I do want to show you is on these reels, you will find somewhere on here is a little cutout, a little slit on either side. Those are there for the convenience of when you used to take these out or put them back in, the strip cards, is to slide them in here but you'll see that in a moment I don't always use those. Sometimes they're so badly damaged you can't use them anyway. But that's what those are used for. Once you've removed all of the old reel strips it's worth just with a screwdriver going around the rim because sometimes you find bits of cardboard stuck under here. So you can just clean off any rust and anything from the reels. What we're doing now is find the markers. Going to start off with the first reel, and I can see my two marker points here. 
and here's my first reel strip. So I'm going to get the reel strips in, I'm not going to get them exact as long as I get them on and the best way to do this is just to bend them like this so they're concaved and just feed them in like this. All three reel strips have been fitted, but they're not perfectly aligned. We've got our little marker pen pointers to show where things should be. We then need to make sure that the reels are in a particular place, namely the jackpot. Because that's normally only got one outcome, it's better to align up the three symbols that represent the jackpot. So for this particular machine, it is the Comet and the Kitty symbols. So we'll align those up. Now because we haven't crimped these back into position, we can very easily just slide the reel strip backwards and forwards to get it into position. Now I've lined up the three reels. We release the rag at the back. Once these three brakes have locked into each reel, these can't move. You then want to probably push the whole mechanism back into the cabinet of the machine so you can make sure that these are in the dead centre of the winning window display. Now that the mechanism is back into the cabinet, although they're perfectly in line, you can see that they're just a little bit too low down for the pointers in the cabinet window. So all three reel strips just need to be slid up just a fraction just so that they appear perfectly centered in the window display. Once you've adjusted the reel strips perfectly you can then crimp the rims of the reels to make sure that the reel strips don't slip around when played. Now some people do put pinches all the way around every couple of inches. You don't need that. Uh, you just need to pinch it two or three times around just to stop the card reel strip from slipping around when it's played. Uh, and there they are. The moment of truth is to put it back into the machine and see if it all works and lines up.